us all to own that is the question. Ah, the perennial rent versus own debate. Do you live in the freedom of not having to fix your own dishwasher but are subject to the whims of a landlord? Or do you buy a home but carry out the debt of a mortgage and the reality of constant home upkeep? Like any good debate, there's no perfect answer, but there may be a right answer for you. Let's look at both sides, shall we? Renting is cheaper upfront. You may have to sign a long lease, make a security deposit, and pay two months upfront, but that still pales in comparison to how much closing costs and a down payment will be. HVAC died? Call the landlord. Someone took a joyride through your living room while singing Queen's Don't Stop Me Now? Call the landlord. Anything that breaks, any repairs that are needed, not your house, not your problem. Some leases may have a fine for breaking early, but generally speaking, leaving a place you rent is way easier than selling or renting at a house you own. If you like to make spontaneous decisions, renting is probably your best bet. You don't know anyone hundreds of thousands of dollars when you're renting. So if you decide you'd rather disappear and live in a van for six months, you don't have any financial obligations to worry about. Since you're paying someone else's mortgage when you rent, you won't be building any equity, and that could hurt you in the long run. When it comes down to it, you're paying a fee for shelter, and that can definitely be worth it by itself. And maybe you'd rather invest in other things, but just know that the money you're putting into rent is only providing that immediate benefit, nothing long-term. Fixed rate mortgages are fixed. Rent, unless you live in a specific rent control unit, isn't. There are stories all over the place about people's rents being jacked up 30 to 40% since 2020. Owning is a commitment, but at least it's one you can usually predict. Mortgage interest deductions on taxes are a big deal. They can cut hundreds, even thousands off your tax bill each year. As a renter, you don't get nearly as many of those tax benefits. What are the pros of owning? Number one, helps you build equity. For starters, every payment you make increases your equity, which is how much you own of your home's value. If the housing market goes up and you paid $350,000 for your home, but it's worth $400,000 after five years, that's $50,000 of equity in your pocket. It's not a guarantee, but historically speaking, housing prices have risen steadily. You can also tap into that equity for things like home renovations, paying off credit cards, and other expenses. This isn't as true for adjustable rate mortgages, but fixed rate mortgages have a set amount you pay each month, and you know that from the beginning. Taxes and insurance prices may change a bit, but the bulk of your payment will be constant. This makes long-term planning way easier. Taxes, bleh. But owning a home can help. Homeowners get tax deductions that renters don't, like the mortgage interest deduction. This adds up. And depending on the state and county you live in, you may be eligible for other deductions. Outside of the financial benefits, many people who buy homes report a sense of increased engagement in their community. You become more invested in what is happening around you because you've laid down some roots. Let's talk about potential considerations. Closing costs and down payments can be expensive. On a $300,000 home, you would probably need like $15,000 to get through a 3% down payment and closing costs. At 20%, you'll need $60,000. This is almost always more than what you pay up front for renting. And we're not even counting all the money you spend getting a house ready to live in. Although, you do some of that furnishing when renting too. For an idea of what makes closing expensive, watch our video on closing costs. It's your house. If you don't have flood insurance and your house floods, well, that's on you. This is your investment and it's up to you to maintain it. And that can be costly. Sure, you can always rent out your place, but that's not always an option. And selling a house can take a while, especially in a slow market. If housing prices crash, you will incur a loss. Sure, you still have a roof over your head, which is valuable in itself, but it's important to remember that gains in equity are not guaranteed. 
and there are opportunity costs to everything. How do you decide what's best for you? First off, don't just compare hard costs because homeownership will usually be much higher. That's not a complete picture of the trade-offs. Are you thinking about getting a master's in a year or two? Or maybe you're sick of the city you're in. If you're not ready to settle down, that's okay. That just means buying right now might not be the best option. Renting gives you the freedom to move with almost no strings attached. On the flip side, if you feel unsettled and unsure and don't really have any plans, buying a home could make you feel more settled. And it would be a shame if you woke up five years from now wishing you would have bought something. Do you think your income is going to change soon? In either direction. Do you want to own multiple homes and use real estate as part of your retirement strategy in the future? Or would you rather use that down payment cash to start a business while you're young? There's no wrong or right answer, but the earlier you think through your goals, the better off you'll be. Using a rent versus buy calculator can make all this a bit more tangible. You can get comparisons between renting and buying a home in the place you're living or thinking about moving to. So depending on your timeline, you can get an idea of when buying would start to make more financial sense versus the short-term benefits of renting. There's no definitive answer, but some calculations can help. And conveniently enough, Rocket Mortgage has a rent versus buy calculator that can help you make one of the biggest decisions of your life. So what are you waiting for? Head over to the link in the description and take our rent versus buy calculator for a spin. And if you decide owning is in your future, I know some people that can help. Thanks for checking us out. If you'd like to see more videos just like this, you know what to do. Click right here. And as always, like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.